Okay, now we're going to look at the R in CRUD to read data, or it would be a select in SQL. So basically, we'll start just by listing whatever rows are in the table at the moment. We'll use uh, stored procedures again. So I'll start off in SQL Server Management Studio, create a stored procedure. This will be a simple select because all we're doing is pulling all the rows out of the table. I'll use the lazy uh, query designer to do this. And uh, we don't need to uh, pull in any parameters since we're just sending data out. So no parameters and we'll name it dbo.spvideo underscore get all. All right, and when I, I'll check that. It looks like it'll be okay. Execute it and that executes. So now if I refresh the stored procedures, there it is, get all. And now if you use a field like is active to logically delete rows without physically deleting them, you could create another stored procedure. This time we'll select rows where is active is true, or in this syntax that would be is active is one. And once again, we don't really need to pull in any parameters since we're just sending data out. And we'll use dbo.spvideo underscore get active as the name of this one. Execute that SQL to create the stored procedure. And then when we refresh, we'll see its name in there with the others. That just creates the stored procedure, so you don't need to save that query. You can just close that and not save it. Next, we'll need some code. So out of SQL Management Studio and back into Visual Studio. Now, the code's going to be pretty much the same as what we've seen so far. In fact, you're going to see this same pattern every time with just the wording being a little different. But uh, let's go ahead and open up our project. And we need to get right into that video service.cs class where all those uh, methods for interacting with the database are going to live. All right, so we can collapse down the ones we have in there. Make some room and uh, we'll call this one video list. Let's make it a public async task. Now this time we want it to return a list of items, so um, not a Boolean. So let's say it's an I enumerable of video objects. So you need the uppercase V to refer to the video class. Okay. And um, that will be, like I said, video list. Okay, so first thing we'll do in this method is create a empty list of video objects to populate from the table. Now, if you have any trouble using this I enumerable, make sure you have using system.collections.generic up there in your using statements. This will be a list of video, capital V, and videos, lowercase v, will be the name of the actual list. I need this using statement. I'll just copy and paste that out of another one. And now to populate that list, you could either use get all and show all the ones, even the ones that have been marked for deletion, or it could use get active um, and show everything, including the ones that have been marked for deletion. I'll leave you to your own devices on that. The only point is you got to make sure you get the name right. Um, I think I named them SP video get all and SP video get um, active. Yeah, I'll use this one SP video get all. Uh, I would just execute that one. And then again, it's going to be a command type of uh, store procedure. Okay, so after that executes, then videos will be a list of um, all the videos in the video table. And so we just need to return that to the caller and that would go underneath the using. And that will just be return videos in a semicolon. Okay, now we need to grab this name, this method signature that we just made, and we need to go stick that in iVideo service. So just go open that one. You can paste in the whole line and just knock off the public async. Everything in our interface is public. Oops, I'm getting this squiggly. I need to uh, add that using. I can do it this way. For IE enumerable, you need this uh, using system.collections.generic. So I'll pop that in there, and now it's up there at the top. And that should be it for that. We can close and save that. Now that was all under the hood stuff, so now we need a page. Right-click the Pages folder, choose Add New Item. 
and we'll use a razor component for the page and I'll name it video list. Click add and the new page opens ready for editing. They always start off with this H3 heading but you really need more than that so um, let's just uh, scoot that down and we have to tell it first that we're using stuff from that data folder so that's at using blazer dapper crud dot data that makes it you know aware that there's a namespace full of code in there and then um, we can say at page and give this some kind of a name that starts with a forward slash um, this is going to be the routing name how you link to it I always use all lowercase letters and always start out with a slash I think it's just easier um, to remember and then we need to inject the um, video service that's called dependency injection and allows us to use methods in there without instantiating an object and now for the body of this page it's pretty much all going to just be HTML I'll make a link to the page for adding videos since this is where they may decide they want to do that and now we have to say if videos equal equal null meaning that um, it's not ready yet just show this loader image okay and that's just you know a loader that spins it's probably not gonna last long with this tiny thing but never hurts to put it in there and then we'll create a table to show the uh, the data and I'll just use a simple HTML table you can do it however you want this will be the table header row appears once at the top of the table and then for each video in the list we're passing back this is a little razor syntax for looping through those curly braces we'll need a row for each video and in the first cell of each row will show that um, I edit PNG image in the second column will show the video title and the third column will show the um, uh, date published and then in the fourth column we'll show if the video is marked as active we'll show that green check that PNG image what did I do here? If video, get that, blah, blah, blah. What did I got here? All right. If video is active, show green check. Else, show, whoops, red X. And then that's the end of that row. What a mess. Did I get that right? Yes. Okay. So now we need to populate that table with some data. So we'll need a list of video objects. Again, I'll use I enumerable. We'll create an empty I enumerable list named videos for starters. And then we'll have a function that executes as the page is initializing. And that one will uh, populate the videos list, which will in turn cause it to populate the table. Initialized async. Okay, so videos equal, um, it's going to be await. And then it's going to be the video service dot video list, I called it, I think. And that is a reference to the video list method in video service dot CS that returns the list of videos using that SP get all. I had a little typo there. Looks okay now, though. Let me save it and I'll run it. And as always, it will open to the home page. To get to that one, I have to type add slash video list to the oops um why didn't that come back what did i forget what did i forget oh if videos how did that get to be video service all right this is a video list dot razor videos equal equal null in other words while it's waiting for it to load it shows that image is all all right so again slash video list come on video you can spell Hey, it worked. It's really ugly, but it worked. The images aren't showing. There's my add a video link, and it takes me to video add. All right, let's clean up this horrible looking mess. All right, for these images, I see it's using this tilde slash business. I'll just switch that to dot dot slash in front of the images folder everywhere. No, that should work. Let me run it again, see how it looks. 
All right, drum roll. Home page, didn't blow up at least, and slash video list. And it looks horrible, but at least you can see the pictures. Okay. I don't think we need to see 12 o'clock a.m. on all the date published, so we'll go back and we'll put a dot two short date string on date published. And um, save that, take a look. There's our home page. If I go to video list, better, the dates are better. I mean, it's still really ugly, I know, but the basic functionality is there. It loops through the table and shows each row. And the home link still works. And again, the reason it's ugly is because I just threw in the raw HTML. There's no styling at all in there. And I don't really want to get into that in this course, but in the next lesson, we have to at least make it presentable. So I'll spend a little time in the next lesson just throwing in a little CSS to make it so it's not such an eyesore at least. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next lesson.